Hi, I'm Ilya Sion, co-founder of Bitco. In this video, I wanted to show you a short use case about an um, invoice queue that we have built from, for one of the clients. So let's get on with it. So what you see here is a dashboard where our client can see the breakdown of all the costs they have based on the categories that they have created. So they receive lots of invoices, we process them, extract the information about the invoice and also we extract the line items. And each line item is a cost type. In this case our client had their own cost types. For example, you can have food, gasoline or accommodation, but they are a telco company so they had different um, costs like telco data, telco data center. These are all line items that they pay for. And having this information would allow them to project the costs in future and see whether they can buy something up front. Because in telco world, almost everything is paper use. And this is a very important information that is done automatically. So I, how is that, how it is working in, in reality? Okay, so let's see. So first step, we load the invoice appears here. I'm going to do it manually, but we have an automation that extracts it from a real uh, email and puts it into uh, a Dropbox folder. We do that to have uh, to make sure that all the information is available in, in one place. Then what happens, uh, every certain period of time, uh, the system tracks the folder. So now it will appear. Okay, so here is our invoice. And then we will automatically start processing the, the information about this invoice and extract everything into this table, okay, including the supplier. So let's give it a couple of seconds. So now we have the information available and the next thing that happens is that we process the line items in the file. So line items in this case are all the things that we paid for. This is the line items and we want them to appear in our cost item uh, table here in order for us to classify this cost and then update the table. Okay. So now as you can see the system is extracting information from the line items and putting it here. Now what will happen is we're gonna understand what type of cost is that and um, what is the uh, and then update the graphs I will switch it manually just to see to show that it is working but it's all done automatically and as you can see we are detecting what type of cost is that and that means our dashboard has been updated so in order for you to see that, I have created a separate line item that now we have these three items from Acme test that I have just loaded and the information has been updated. So this way you have a full dashboard to see uh, how the invoices are progressing. You can, because you have different projects, you can split the dashboards into per project and control the costs. And because we also offer um, forecasting, then this client would be able to forecast uh, for next six months all the costs, see it here and choose the scenario that works for them. So I hope this was interesting and if you want any details just feel free to contact us. Thanks a lot.